Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Dale Chanel's 48th World. Child, we got a new hot blazing story out here today. They say Kelly Price is missing. Child, what is going on? What is going on? It's on Fox News. It's on page 6. It's on every social media outlet. And we're just trying to see what the T is. What the T is? What is going on? What in the Sand Hill oh, is going on here? Lord, Kelly Price done went and had her ups and downs. And her downs and ups. And she had been battling COVID. Uh, from what my, I was reading a little bit. I don't know why my phone is buffering. But it is buffering, guys. It's getting on my nerves. But yeah, they had said, uh, well, she had uh, put out there that she had suffered from having the OVID. And she was released from the hospital. And then s subsequently after that, she came up missing. Now, she is engaged to someone that she is living with at her home. I hope there is no foul play going on. You know. Or any Alzheimer's or mental illness going on with Kelly. To have her um, not being able to get back home. I don't even know if she get left home. Or did she leave the hospital going home and then get home? It's kind of sketchy on what they're saying. But all the news outlets are talking about her and her whereabouts. And she was on her own social media platform talking about how she contracted Ovid and she's doing well. Or she's trying to uh, do well, I should say. But I don't know what's wrong with my phone, guys. I'm trying to pull up the story about it. Shansay, uh -huh. you having problems with your phone? Bring uh -huh. me your phone for a second. Or pull up Kelly Price missing. I was shocked when I heard that, and she actually lives. She actually lives in Atlanta. Uh -huh. I told you to pull up Kelly Price missing on your phone, cause mine just keeps scrolling. For some reason. Is that, is that yeah, I think it was. <laughs> Do you have anything to say about Kelly Price being missing? No, I just found it strange. After she got her COVID, no, well, she was in for COVID. Right, right. So, what do you think happened? Any foul play? No, it won't go though. Just tap into one of them and see what it pull it up. Who covering this? Everybody. Page six, Fox News. Mm. Just about all the media outlets. I'm like, how can you go missing in Atlanta and you've been here the majority of your whole life? No, I just wanna add that after she got out of the hospital. Yeah. I think she was having some Alzheimer's or some mm. some uh, memory lapse or something. She might have thought she became somebody else. It ain't her from her sinks. Okay. So, my daughter got it to come up a little bit. Girl, are you going to have me? Yes, I was having you have a conversation with me with my oh family my on YouTube, God. girl. Oh yeah, but the headlines read. I ain't set you up. TMZ broke it out, guys. They, uh, one of the uh, journalists, they didn't really give the name. I guess TMZ don't do it. I heard TMZ got bought out. They sold out to uh, Biocom, I believe. Don't quote me, but yeah, TMZ is, is, is has been bought out. I'm gonna have to cover that story later on. But anyway, it says gospel singer Kelly Price missing in Georgia after revealing COVID battle. Okay, gospel singer Kelly Price has gone missing in Georgia. TMZ has learned, and it happened shortly after she was released from the hospital after battling the big COVID. Okay, according to officials in Cobb County, Kelly has been listed as a missing person following a welfare check conducted at her home last Saturday. My goodness, she's been missing for a week, child. We 
you should have did an amber alert on her. Oh, I don't know. Well, that's they do a well being check. That's what they call when they check when they trying to check on people that's older than a child. You know, so I guess anything over eighteen, you know, it's called a welfare check. But yeah, so she been missing for about a week now. Oh my goodness, I hope everything is okay. Well, but going back to the article, it said we're told the authorities found no evidence of foul play and spoke with Kelly's boyfriend at the residence. But she's now listed as a missing. Well, she's now listed as missing with the National Crime Information Center. So I'm like, now why is man? It's kind of sounding messed up. You like that girl in was it New Mexico or Arizona? Her her boyfriend was going looking at the canyons or whatever, and he came back with her truck, and she didn't come back. I'm like, how you gonna come back with her truck and not her in the car either? But anyway, they found her dead, honey. <laughs> but I, I thought the police, because the police should have took both of them in, because they both were acting very suspect. You know what I'm saying? She was acting all, you know, uh, I don't know, just scatterbranded, you call it. Uh, just talking real fast, this shell, but just out, just looking a hot mess. So, you know, the police should have did their due diligence and took both of them in. It probably would have saved her life. But then again, who knows? Maybe that was what's the way she was supposed to go, how she went. I don't know. <laughs> Destiny, your destiny is a, a different thing uh, or, or what you're going to face when it's your time to in, leave this world. So, I really can't say. So, I'm uh, not really here nor there on that situation. But I'm like, all these people coming up missing. Girl, now we got Kelly Price here in Atlanta missing. Okay, it says as for what led to this, Kelly posted a video July 29th revealing she had COVID and was struggling with symptoms. According to Kelly's family, she was admitted into the hospital about a week later and ended up in the ICU because her conditions worsened. Her family tells TMZ they were in touch with Kelly while she was in the hospital in early August. And her children visit her several times, however, three weeks after she was admitted. We told her kids got a call that she's been discharged, which was surprisingly because she was apparently still not feeling healthy. The family says Kelly has not been heard from since. So damn, she's been damn near gone about three weeks. Forget a week. she been gone, y'all. Okay, but anyway, as they told the cops, her boyfriend is alleging, allegedly keeping friends and family members from visiting her home. I'm like, hold up, wait a minute, foul play. What do you mean he is not letting the family in the home? I'm like, is his name on the house? Okay, is he a residence there? Do he pay any kind of electric bills or water bills? Any utility bills to keep him as a, a what do you call it, a, a squatter? Uh, do we need to go uh, petition him to get out of the house? I'm like, oh my goodness, the boyfriend. Oh, foul play. Don't, it don't smell good, y'all. It don't smell good for Kelly, I tell you. But anyway, going back to the article. It says, we're told this concerned many people close to Kelly and led to someone alerting the authorities to do a welfare check last week. Now she's officially considered missing. And we're told there's an active investigation to find her. But I'm just like, let's go back. Let's go all the way back to way back when. They saying the boyfriend is up there shacking up in her house without her. And uh, he ain't let nobody in the house. Okay. So what's up with that? What's up with that? That's called, ooh, we finna get there in them streets and we finna go ham on this little joker. Because he ain't finna about to stay up there. Not nam time. Okay. That's what I'm saying. If he ain't got no property or, 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 or legal representation to be in that home. Well, he could show us on paper, man. We'll be tearing that house up from brick to from the wall to the wall to the. We'll be getting up in that house. Forget that. Oh, <sighs> but maybe she, Kelly was estranged from her family. You know what I'm saying? Estranged, meaning you know she was having a difference of opinion and she was just keeping her uh, family at bay. You know, maybe they ain't like the dude she been dating, shacking up with or whatnot. I don't know. See, like Kelly was has always been struggling. Uh, even in her heydays when she was on these reality shows and stuff. But I don't know, honey. I was like, ooh. We keep Kelly in prayer, child. We keep Kelly in prayer. But she's been gone about three weeks now, look like, from just reading that article. Because she was, what, in August, they saying? Three weeks ago? That's three weeks ago, y'all. Because we in September finna go out of September in a sense. So she been down there missing a month. And we just not hearing about this? Something ain't right, y'all.
Some ain't right in the milk. It ain't clean. But y'all get down in those comments. Y'all keep prayers up for Miss Kelly Price. Hopefully she is found. And uh, she's not harmed or anything like that. Maybe she's suffering from a little dementia or whatever uh, from the Ovid. Because we don't know how that Ovid is going to uh, present itself in any of our lives when we catch it or get a touch of it. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I got for this story, y'all. If y'all like it, love it. Got to have more like this. Don't hesitate. Just share my videos, subscribe to the channel, and like my videos, okay? That's all I ask. All of that is free and no charge, okay? Just take a little click, 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 click on your keyboard or your phone, and you got it set. Share, like, subscribe. See y'all guys next video. Bye-bye.